So people were telling me yesterday when I made my video, like, Chibi, you need to touch some grass because you didn't actually show it. Well, let me prove to you all I want to touch some grass. Touching some grass right there. So we got to talk about the current state of the My Hero Academia manga. And if you are not up to date with the latest chapter that came out earlier this morning, I highly recommend you to stop watching this video because obviously this video will contain a lot of spoilers. And so with that disclaimer out of the way, let's just let's dive right headfirst into it. So for the past three four chapters of My Hero Academia, it has been about Dobby versus Shoto. It has been an iconic fight, an iconic moment for My Hero Academia, something that has pretty much been built up since the very beginning of the story, like since like, you know, Dobby's introduction, which was around like chapter 60, 50, maybe even earlier than that, but it was you know, a very long time ago, pretty much in the early stages of My Hero Academia. So when you take a hard look at uh, this chapter that came out, it is pretty much what you would assume is the end of the Dobby versus Shoto fight. Now, here's the thing about that. Personally, as a reader, I don't think Dobby is actually down for the count. And the reason why I say that is because, well, for one, there is this ominous, like, aura, or this orb that appears in one of the final pages of the latest chapter of My Hero Academia. So because of that, I instantly assume that Dobby is not going to go down. And the entire vibe of this chapter just feels way too happy and uplifting in comparison to what tone it was trying to direct you towards towards the end, with All for One, but also seeing Spinner's reaction to finding out that Dobby uh, potentially has fallen. And so let's just, let's get into that. What is going on with Dobby? What's potentially going to happen? So there's a few possibilities, obviously. For one, you can assume that most likely All for One has set up some form of trap inside of Dobby somehow to where Dobby is either going to explode like a nuke possibility. Think about it. He has an insane amount of heat. Maybe his body is supercharging heat and he's just going to expel it all at once and he's just going to blow up. That's a potential possibility. Now, it might not have to do with all for one. It could just be Dobby's quirk to, in the beginning. Like, it's just basically, that's just how Dobby's quirk works. Maybe if he dies, he just explodes or maybe it's always been something he could do. It just obviously he's never done it because he's been waiting to fight, you know, Shoto and his father Endeavor. So when you just look at everything about that, that's one potential direction the story can go. And if it's not that, I am under the impression that it is a phoenix. Now, hear me out. I doubt I am the only one that has probably thought about this or theorized this because there's so many of you guys out there. There's so many people that make theories and discussions on My Hero Academia, so I doubt I'm the only one to come up with this. But there's another potential possibility that Dobby is a phoenix. Like, his quirk might actually just straight up be a phoenix-like quirk. For instance, he gets, you know, overburdened by the damages to his body, and as his body reduces to cinders to ash itself, he is reborn by the very ash into something brand new, a phoenix. And when you look at Dobby's overall presentation with his quirk, how he presents himself, especially in these past few chapters, Dobby looks like he's burning up like a phoenix. He's about to reduce to nothing but ash, and then he will be reborn as something brand new, as a new Dobby. And so that is my thoughts. That's what I think is going on right now within the story. I personally think that Dobby's probably going to explode, he's going to turn into some ash, and then he's going to be reborn as a phoenix, starting over once again. That is my thought, pro pro thought process on this, having a stroke right there, but my thought process on that. And another thing is that if he indeed does explode, there is a lot of our characters, our side characters, that are in you know, the crossfire. I mean, when you see the chapter, there's a lot of characters that we care about that we've seen a lot that are just right next to Dobby while they're holding him, and we know something's going on with his body. So there is a very high likely chance that some of those characters are going to die. And since this is the final arc, and basically there was a video that apparently came out today saying that, yes, My Hero Academia really is in its final arc and it's reaching its end and one of the last volumes to come out, we know we're getting closer and closer. And so I feel like... 
if anything, we maybe have a chapter, maybe a chapter and a half of Dobby's overall fight, and then we're moving on to something else. Probably All for One versus Hawks and Endeavor. That is my general assumption. Since we're on the topic of All for One versus Endeavor and Hawks, let's uh, let's talk about actually what's potentially going to happen there. So I feel like this is a very big moment for Endeavor and Hawks, obviously, to uh, take down one of the biggest bads that's ever been in My Hero Academia. I mean, think about it. All for One is pretty much like the main villain besides obviously Shigaraki and we don't really know what's fully going on with Shigaraki if he's actually himself if he's just all all for one etc there's just so much more that we need to dissect with that segment but the point though is is that all for one is pretty much like a big bad he's one that kind of dragged all might down from his pillar the symbol of peace and if Endeavor is the one to bring him down, it would be very symbolic to show that Endeavor did something that, you know, All Might technically wasn't able to do, fully bring down All for One entirely. That would be a great moment. I would love to see that for Endeavor, and I'd love to see if, you know, Hawks Endeavor can be able to beat someone like All for One. I mean, the final page of the chapter showcases that All for One has a bunch of different abilities still. I mean, he has a different ability for each individual finger. Like, one, he has, like, a flame ability. He has a wind ability. He has, like, this weird spike ability. You know, he has this, like, sludge thing. You know, it's just, like, we know he has a lot of quirks, and because of that, he's going to be incredibly dangerous. He probably has a lot of things to, you know, hold off Endeavor, hold off, you know, Hawks, but at the same time, Endeavor is no slouch. Hawks is no slouch. And so All for One's not going to be able to just be like, ah, I can't, I can deal with this easily. It's going to be a big uphill battle for him because also he doesn't have his original quirk. He's not actually holding on to All for One, the quirk, anymore. He gave it to Shigaraki. So he does have his limitations, obviously. And this hasn't been fully explored to that major extent yet, so I am curious to see how his quirk lasts. It might be a possibility to where this could be like the opposite of All for One versus All Might, to where All for One is going to run out, to where the last remaining embers of his quirk might run out entirely, and he might not have anything left. That's a possibility. Now, besides that, we got to talk about some other things. We got to talk about Spinner. So Spinner was a huge part of this chapter. He talks about Dobby. He talks about how Dobby has things that he lacks. For instance, Dobby has a motivation. He has something that he needs or wants, but Spinner is empty. And I like the entire panel that shows Spinner's open mouth. And you see the word like everything or like nothing or whatever. And I forget the exact word that was in his mouth. But I do like that. It just shows emptiness that Spinner really feels like he's empty inside. He's always just going with the flow. He's a bandwagoner, etc. And I think that's a really good sign segment just once again to nail in Spinner's overall motivation, who he really is, and he's just filled up with these other things other people shove inside of him, and he really isn't his own man. Even though he can be, he isn't his own man, and that's what he truly believes. And seeing his form of how he looks a lot bigger, etc., it does imply that once again, All for One probably did this, did something to him, and he's probably not going to act really right in the upcoming chapters when he fights. Now, as for the uh, thing about Spinner, though, I do think that Spinner's overall new form, the way he looks just more massive and more muscular, it's kind of scary. I do wonder if he's been gifted another quirk or if this really is like all a part of Spinner's abilities or maybe it was enhanced by All for One. I have a lot of questions about that and I'm going to assume it's going to be answered in due time. But since we're talking about characters and all that in different battlefields, we also have the Gagan battlefield with Mina and, you know, Kurishima. And I think this is a really good segment as well because we get to see the individual that was a part of Killing Midnight. He talks about it, he monologues, and it's clear that Mina, or Pinky, was able to hear that which implies or a setup for a fight between the characters to get some redemption but the brief little image we got of midnight pretty much explains that midnight gave up she accepted her fate she accepted she was going to die and it's a very sad panel it's a really sad panel i know many people didn't like there's some people out there that don't care about midnight and think it's like oh that's it that's the only character that died or one of the few characters that died in the last arc but in reality Midnight's death is very tragic because she is a very popular character, a very important character, honestly, up to that very point until she died. And seeing her gone like that is just truly tragic because obviously, thanks to this being a seinen, or not a seinen, a shonen series, you know, not everything is going to be described or give a description, but it's very apparent what probably happened to her before she died. And because of that overall thought process, it just makes everything about her death very tragic and I think that uh, seeing you know Kurishima and Mina being able to potentially take down the individual that did the final blow to her is going to be very very emotional I'm excited for that fight honestly I'm really looking forward to that fight 
But uh, yeah, overall, the current state of My Hero Academia. It's uh, it's interesting. Like I, I like these p past few chapters. I know that I've talked about negatively about My Hero Academia in recent times, like you know how it's being rushed, etc. And Horikoshi Sensei himself basically admitted that it was being rushed in its own way. You know, I know I've talked about this, and my thoughts still stand on that. I still think that My Hero Academia is being rushed, and it's just it's a tragedy to see such a good series like you know M H A My Hero Academia done like it's done. But nothing can dissolve, and nothing can obviously change that. That's reality. That's just. We got to accept it. It's what happens. So we need to enjoy what we get so far from the series. And I like the content we've got with Dobby and all that and the fight. I cannot wait to see what happens next. But that's overall my thoughts on the latest stuff of My Hero Academia. Before I wrap up this video, you probably noticed I'm outside. Um, I don't know if this turned out well or not, but people are saying like, Chibi, you know, I really enjoyed the last video you made outside yesterday and I was like sure I'll do it again it's a beautiful day outside it's nice and windy it doesn't feel as hot and I'm not burning up as much it's like I'll, I'll record outside again let's just see how it is see how people feel about it I don't know it's a it's a nice change of pace just sitting outside instead of just cooped up in a, a bedroom or in a, a room to record videos in it, it's a it's a nice feeling it really is but uh hopefully you all enjoyed this video if you did you know please leave me a like you know subscribe notify like click that bell notify down below leave a comment etc it helps me out a lot well, that guy's be safe, stay healthy, Chibi out.